and he and Al fillers have become more and more popular for enhancing size down there for penis owners. So I've talked about genital fillers in a previous episode. Check it out if you haven't already. But I want to specifically talk about penile fillers for girth enhancement. Whether we want to believe it or not, genital cosmetic procedures are the new frontier of cosmetic surgery. And penile fillers have become more and more popular for enhancing size down there for penis owners. Penile fillers involve using dermal fillers. These are fillers that we have been accustomed to using other parts of the body, chiefly the face, for volumization, but used in the penis to volumize a man's girth and potentially their length. Now, fillers are not all created equal. A lot of things that can be used to fill the penis. By far, the safest type of filler is the FDA-approved hyaluronic acid fillers. These are fillers that are commonly used all over the face, lips, jaw lines, nasal labial folds, all over the face. We're very accustomed to that. These are the same fillers that we can use in the penis. What makes them the safest way to cosmetically enhance the penis is that there is an antidote. There's an antidote that can be used to dissolve the filler if we need to. Other types of fillers do not have an antidote because they are permanent and cannot be dissolved. Therefore, if something needs to be removed afterwards, it is more complicated and likely involves cutting into the penis to be able to get it out. I recommend if you are considering penile enhancement that you consider hyaluronic acid penile fillers above all else. I mean, you only got the one. Okay, penile fillers have been shown to be safe, and this was most recently presented at the Sexual Medicine Society of North America National Meeting. In this abstract, almost 500 men undergoing hyaluronic acid penile fillers for girth enhancement over almost three year period had very, very little complications. Two of the patients developed a minor wound infection that was easily treated with oral antibiotics. No patients reported loss of sensation. No patients reported loss of function. Most of these patients underwent multiple treatments to achieve the level of girth that they desired. Now, hyaluronic acid fillers are not permanent. They will dissolve eventually. I think that makes them advantageous, again, because that means that I'm not irreversibly, potentially altering somebody's penis in a negative way. Imagine getting permanent fillers in your lips, but then they look kind of crazy and you want them out. Same thing. You only got the one pair of lips to frame your face. You only got the one penis that God gave you. So I think the reversibility and the ability to have an antidote that can be easily injected in case of a complication, in case of an undesirable cosmetic result, in case you just change your mind about the whole thing, makes it a huge advantage. So here we have it, penile fillers. Let me know what you think. What are your questions about it in your comments? Let me know below. Make sure that you hit that bell and subscribe so you can join me every hump day for all things down there right here.